Welcome back. This is tutorial number seven in our progression from nothing to megalopolis in City Skylines. So uh, let's take a look at our current status. We, we have $92,000 in the bank and we have a population of 7,300 and we are in a uh, status of Big Town, a milestone called Big Town and we're progressing toward small city. So let's look at the uh, tiles that are available at this point. Again, I have the mod uh, that adds that gives you 25 tiles. So uh, I'm not sure if I if I had that turned off. I'm not sure if all these would show up or not. But in the standard game, you can only have nine tiles max. So, but let's see what happens now if we buy this one because we have these three and we would like to you know make this an even square. And that tile now costs 9500 As I mentioned earlier, as you go on in the game, the further you go, the more expensive it is to buy these tiles. But we have enough money to at least buy this one, so let's go ahead and get it. And now there's no more available at this point anyway. Even if we wanted to spend the money, we couldn't until we have more population. So let's go back to our city and check things out. We have a couple of... Uh, uh, abandoned buildings that I'll just delete. And by the way, I turned the sound back on just because sometimes it is kind of nice to hear these effects. Although I'm not so crazy about the dogs barking, but I have neighbors that do that. So let's see here. We'll check our water situation. It's good. Our sewage treatment's getting a little low in in capability but it will be okay for now and our electricity it's in the yellow so we better do something more about electrical generation let's see what's available here again coal power plant in which we've used in advance and we used one of those the oil power plant is uh, kind of messy a lot of noise pollution and such and i don't think we want to use that at this point. Geothermal would be great, but it's sixty-five thousand dollars and I have eighty-three now remaining, so I think I'll wait on that one also. I think we're gonna go ahead and put another advanced coal power plant in at this point. So let's go ahead and do that. We want it in this area, industrial area, so that it doesn't pollute near our uh, residences. I think right in here looks good. I want to continue that, that road that you see there, so I'm going to put it on this side of that road, probably along the same road as the others are. One, one tile up. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and start the simulation, and we'll watch the power availability pop up up here. There it is. Okay, we're in good shape now for a little bit on the power. Let's see what else we need pause again and see how we are with education. Our, we're good with elementary. We've got uh, way up in the green. High school? Mm, we could use another high school. So let's put another high school somewhere. How much do they cost? 24? You know what? I'm going to wait just a little bit. It won't hurt to be down in the red for a little bit. And we don't have any universities yet. But I think we need to start thinking about public transit. So Let's take a look at our traffic situation at this point. A little bit of red developing. A little heavy traffic up in here. So I think we need to start some public transit. And we have a few things available at this point. We have the, the bus lines, which we could do. Maybe I'll, I'll do a little bit of that. The metro is now available. I really like the metro because of a couple of things that really can handle a lot of people and if you use the underground it doesn't require a lot of overground you know, above ground space although I like to do some above ground so you can see the trains going by uh, let's do a bus line at this point I believe we need to start with a bus depot and we have a choice of a biofuel for 40,000 or a just standard for 30 and in order to create the bus lines we're going to need a bus depot somewhere so probably want it in an area that's going to handle that traffic of the buses departing and coming back in. I think we'll put it over here if we can. 
yeah, along this uh, four-lane highway. Okay, we have a bus depot now. So the next step then would be to start creating some bus lines. I'm going to back off here for a second and think about where we want a bus line. Definitely want to take workers from our residential area up to our commercial zones and to our uh, industrial. So let's start a bus line somewhere down in our residential, I think. Back to this. Okay, bus line. Click on that and see how we start a bus line now. I actually forget how to do this because I don't use bus lines very much. Okay, yeah, we have a little dot showing. We'll start right near our bus depot and then uh, immediately it wants to uh, make us, it has to be a, a route that uh, is in a circle basically or you know continuous. I think we'll go along here, take a stop there on that road and go through the roundabout and head off into our residential zone. We'll let us stop there. I think we're in residential. Hold on a sec. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll add a stop here. Actually, these are commercial. This is a commercial zone. Uh, we'll go on through our commercial zone. I'm going to back off so I can see kind of a bigger picture. Let's do a stop over here in residential. Makes our citizens happy to see those coming in. We don't need them in every block. Oops, I'm going to add a stop. Oop, no, let's continue the line first. Add a stop here, 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 and let's go back to our first stop and complete this line. Okay, so we have one bus line at this point that's probably well let's do a one that connects this line to the industrial so our um, citizens can go from this stop up into our industrial zone we'll, let's just add one right there it's a little hard to control this uh, the where the mouse goes, but you kind of get the hang of it as you do it. To a few stops up in the uh, center of our industrial zone. Just kind of get them in the neighborhood. They don't mind walking. Uh, the citizens actually can walk quite a long ways without complaint, which is good and healthy. We'll take one down here, over here, and let's complete this line. Okay, we now have two bus lines, and uh, we'll hit the run the simulation just a tad, and this should help traffic eventually. Okay, now let's uh, run our simulation for a while and see what it looks like. I'm running at a fast speed to let things build up. I'd like that money to recuperate. I want to see if the buses are running now. So let's find our bus line. Oh, okay, there it is. So there should be some buses running along this line. Go ahead and escape so we can see. And I'm going to slow us down. This is our bus terminal, I believe. No, it's police station. I forgot where I put the bus terminal. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay, yeah. These are buses lining up, waiting to go. We can check our line details here. So it looks like uh, we have uh, eight vehicles, eight buses going. And the length of the line is uh, almost five kilometers. And 
these are the stops and the number of passengers. So we only had one passenger so far, but it'll build up. Speed us up. He goes off in off into the um, industrial zone. see the bus stops here. So it'll take a little while for passenger passengers to catch on, citizens to catch on that there's bus lines that are available to take them to work. We've built up to $43,000 now so we can do a little more. And let's go back now, pause, and sewage treatment is getting close to needing a new, a new outlet. So and the electric I think is still good because we just put in that plant, yeah. Okay. Keep it running. Let's go ahead and add a sewage treatment. We still do not have the uh, water treatment plant. We have to reach a population of 32,000 for this, this really good water treatment plant that produces no pollution. But this is the second best thing, the Echo Water Outlet, so we'll put another one in. You can see it is still polluting, so it's not as good as the other plant, but we'll get there when our population gets up high enough. So it just jumped up, so we have a good amount of uh, capacity for sewage treatment. Check our overall uh, citizen happiness. It's improving since the last time I looked at this. I think it was down in here in the red or in the pink area. And got a happy face, which is nice. We don't have any offices yet. Industrial is happy. And our demand is going up again, so we need some more residential. We'll put some more roads in and uh, then build some residential. I'll probably speed this up so you don't have to watch every bit of road building. Now that road went kind of crooked, so I think I'm going to delete a little bit of it. I believe what happened here it was avoiding the uh, Avoiding the power lines. So let's take that on a 90 degree angle. Well, I'm not sure what happened, but I want to uh, keep our grid fairly uniform. That one jumped over to join this road, which is okay. So I probably should start upgrading more of these. And we'll speed up again as I do this. Okay, now uh, I want to mention that we have high-density residential available at this point, so I think we should start utilizing that, and we'll start over in this area, I think, by the river, be a nice, pleasant place for some high-density housing. Eventually, when we have uh, more territory over on the other side of the river, we'll want to build a bridge across, but we don't have that available quite yet. Okay, I'm going to speed us up again and we'll build some more zoning. And let's run the simulation also. So we have some high density residential going in. So there's definitely pent up demand for that. And also we need more commercial at this point. Let's see what we have available on commercial. Now we have some high density commercial zones available, so we're going to put a few of those in. And while I'm there, they like plazas, so I'm going to put a few of these plazas in. So 
So if you think about it, if you're in a commercial district and you have a, a little place to take a break and maybe have a little, even a picnic or something while you're doing your shopping, citizens really like that. And over here, as I did this, I put in a few parks. There's a dog park, another dog park, and a bouncy castle park. And I just realized I haven't added water here, so pause and put the water. Asking for some more industry. Let's see if we have offices now. Yes, we do. So I'm going to put some offices over in here. It doesn't take a lot of offices compared to the others, but we'll go ahead and fill this one area with it. And while I'm here, for the first time, I want to show you this walking path. So I'm going to pause again, grab the uh, paved uh, path tool and let's put a little walking path. I like to do them with the um, curvy tool. Just give them a little more interest as they go through. And our citizens now can walk from there to there. And uh, it does have a tendency to uh, let zoning build right over the top of it. So we don't want to do that. So let's just don't want a building in front of our on top of our walking path, so I'm just unzone those two areas. And let's build another path across here. Through our residential zone. And uh, blow away the zoning right there. Now our citizens can uh, get from get to these two areas without uh, having to walk in the street sidewalk area. One more. Dezone this. Dezone this. Now when they get to these uh, streets as they're taking their walk they need to be able to cross the street without jaywalking and that's where this mod that I mentioned earlier called uh, something about crossings mentioned in tutorial one uh, allows you to put a crosswalk so that they can cross without going to the nearest corner so as the city builds you'll see them using I actually I already see somebody down here taking a walk on this path there he is Let's, let's just follow them along a bit. They walk quite fast when you're in level 3 speed. I'll slow it down and they, they still walk pretty quickly. That person is going to the buy it all shop. You can also see his perspective with the uh, camera icon from that mod. First person mod. Walked right through that person there. <laughs> There's a park on your right, or a plaza. One of those plazas I put in in the commercial zone. If you hit escape, we'll take you out of the first person view. Okay, our city is building. We want more commercial right now, so let's take a look at that. We've got offices going in. Let's put some more commercial up here near the uh, industrial zone. And at this point, uh, we might have to reroute our uh, electric line here. But uh, I'm going to select the uh, fill tool. Let's pause here and take a look at the electricity. Now, since it's getting electricity all the way up to here, what I'm going to do is go back and just run a short power line, comparatively short, down the uh, near the river and over to this area. And that will tie everything into these uh, sewage treatment plants. So now I can blow away these lines that go all the way across. And they're no longer necessary and they kind of interfere with your zoning.
Okay. Look at our zone. Um, I'm I'm using the uh, excuse me the high density commercial at this point since it's available. Let's let it go ahead and start filling in some taller buildings. We run the simulation and watch the demand. And let's make sure we have water. Yes, we do. We're going to extend this one out. Pretty soon uh, I'll be just extending this water grid. In fact, I'm going to do it right now a little more so that as I build rows out here, I don't have to think about, oh, is that water? This is our border line, uh, these dotted lines here. So border of our tile. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill up the tile with water pipe. We've got $48,000 in the bank. We should be OK to run some. This costs $3,000. So I might as well go out to the edge of the lake here. Filling up our high density commercial now. I'm going to make a space for a, another pathway here. Oops, too late. <laughs> okay, I'll put it over there. Delete that zone and I'm going to. Oops, it blew away that building anyway, so I'm going to have room now to put a path, a walking path, across there. Let's do that while I'm thinking about it. Zoom in. Go over here. We just achieved small city. How about that? Before I end this, I want to just finish this little path so I don't forget it later. Okay, so we have the walking path there and there. Pause my simulation. I'm going to upgrade this road at this point so that it's in good shape. I don't use trees right along the industrial zone because all, all that happens is the trees die off So, because industry pollutes. All right, we have 9,500 population. And we are a small city. The next step after this will be big city. So at this point, small city, we've got a train station now available and we can start thinking about running a train line. That would be a great thing. The uh, industry really likes uh, to have train, uh, freight train depot. Stay tuned for the next tutorial, which will take us from where we are today, small city, to big city you enjoyed. Everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock.